Hi guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to freeze tracks in Logic. Freezing tracks is a really good way to save some CPU and to help reduce latency. It's good to use when you're using extra plugins, especially complex ones, as well as more complex software instruments, as well as playing projects that would usually exceed the CPU on your computer. So I'll quickly show you how to freeze your tracks. So you simply go over here, right click, down to track header components, along, and then freeze. Then you get these nice little snowflake symbols that pop up here. And then to freeze your tracks, simply click on them. I just clicked at the top here and dragged it down, did all of them. And if we go back and hit play, it then essentially renders them as frozen tracks. And when a track is frozen, it's essentially bounced it down to an audio file and it will include the output of any plugins and automations that are on that channel. And once it has been frozen, you then can't edit anything on that track. You can still use the panning and the fader, but you can't add in any additional information. Okay, so as you could see just then, it goes all the way to the end of the project, even if the project extended all the way out here. So like that, it will still go on and do that even though there's nothing there. Okay, so now every track is frozen, so I'll quickly play it, then I'll unfreeze everything and you'll hear that there's no difference at all. But if we quickly just go over here, you can see that we have our little snowflake symbol underneath our cursor, meaning we can't edit or add anything in there, whereas we can still adjust volumes and pannings and all sorts. And same with automation, we can automate any of the volume and um, panning, but anything else, uh, any EQ or anything, we then can't put in because it's frozen. Okay, so here's what it sounds like. It's just a metal track I've been working with lately, so I'll show you a quick clip of it. And then we'll go through and unfreeze everything and just play it again. So it sounds exactly the same. But once you've unfrozen it, you'll then need to go through and freeze it all again, and it does this again. So it'll go through and render it, effectively bouncing it in place before you can listen to it. Okay, I would have cut that bit out because it actually took ages to get to the end there. The more tracks you freeze at once, the longer it takes, whereas if you're just doing one or two at a time, it doesn't take as long. So compared to earlier, this is how quickly it does just two audio tracks. So it's a decent pace, it still takes a little while, but it's definitely quicker than doing 10 at a time. So I definitely advise only really just doing it on tracks that you have a lot going on with, opposed to these ones where I've only got a few plugs in, plugins on them. So channel EQ, amp, pedals, compressor, not much at all really. Whereas if you've got a dozen or so extra plugins on there, or if it's a really complex software instrument, you may want to freeze it. So again, this is frozen, I can't edit it. Whereas if I want to edit it, we simply unfreeze it, go in, do any of our editing that we want, come out, freeze it again, and repeat. So I hope you found this video useful, and if you have any questions, please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.